ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Conan Exiles with Gasbeard. And preparing a base for farming Sepamaru for NPCs and other loot. So this is the workshops that we were working on last time. A few changes in here that you'll note. And um, I've been rather busy. Now we need to make a whole bunch of shaped wood so let me just get that underway I'm not going to use all of the wood that I've got but I'll get another hundred pieces made uh, around here I've been stocking up on the tanner and we're going to need that tar so let's just get the tanner underway Around here at the blacksmith's bench. Been stocking that up and we need those steel reinforcements because of the um, building level that we're creating. And in the forge here, busy making the hardened bricks. Let's get that underway. Over here load more iron stone harvested and let's get that underway and because there's some steel fire there some of the iron as soon as it's smelted will convert straight away to steel you should see the steel start to jump into the queue as enough iron becomes available for it Just wait and watch this for a second just to confirm that the, the steel is going to jump into the queue automatically as that iron becomes available. There we go. And it'll make 45 steel bars. Um, what else have we got? Alright, we've got some berries here which we can get drying. See, I've been busy filling up the cauldron as well. Um, echo from the oily fish, which lets us make stone consolidant. And if we uh, craft all 140, and we also want steel fire, which I've got enough here, we can craft 137. Don't know if there's enough coal in there to do all of that though. Probably gonna have to go get some more coal. Top that one up. In fact, we may be able to rub some. Yes, we can. Rub that hundred out of the campfire. Move that across there for now. Put that in there. I'll do the job. So that's all of them busy working away. Other things that we can do, uh, we're going to need hides uh, for making armor and also for leather. So this rhino hide, for example, I can convert that to thick leather. We'll craft all of that. This reptile hide um, I can convert to standard hides, craft all of that. These hyena hides I can craft into regular hides as well. Let's craft all of them. If nothing else it'll let us top up the tanner. Although we will need the, the regular hides for making light armor for archers. Right, so all of that should be busy plodding away. Is that still going or has it stopped? No, it is still going. Great. And Tanner's still going. Okay, so what else have I been doing? Right, well you can see I've got a grinder now. I can put stone and seeds in there and I'll get salt and 
uh, spices to assist the stove. A few more lights around the place. I've got the armourer's bench in place, the torturer's work table. More storage cupboards, because we will need them eventually. Um, and out here, you can see I've been a very, very busy boy. In fact, we're losing the light. It's coming up to sunset. So let me just get a, a torch out. Use my glowing gloop stick. And you can see I've got a platform here for putting the Wheel of Pain. And you probably noticed from the ready bar that the Wheel of Pain is built, ready to drop. Um, got a load of small palisades out there just defending that side. And down here you can see the entrance to the castle. Got this long passageway with murder holes above it. Or archers. And in front of this gate there's another murder hole. A few more palisades out here. You can see I've been quite busy. It's a long way from finished, but a lot of work has been done on it. And these are the level three standard uh, research um, building types. Uh, the reinforced stone is the, the name of the building piece set. It's a standard research one. It's not from a, a DLC. The idea is you come in here while they're busy trying to fight their way through that gate, the archers are pounding them up there. If they do get through here, they've got another door to get through up there. We've got archers all the way back along there, and spearmen either side of the door. Come through here, there'll be brawlers in here to take care of them, and then obviously still got building work to do up here. To finish this off. Right, so this wheel of pain has to come across here. It sits on about a 4x4 base. So we should be able to get it in there. Let's just see. Whoa. Go away a bit. Right, we'll have the. I want the ladder at this end. That's tucking into the wall up there. That it's there nicely. How much space have we got at that end? Can we get all the way around it? Yeah. We can get all the way around it with not too much. For, oh, maybe we can't get all the way around it. Well, I don't want to rebuild it because it costs a lot of materials. We can't get through there. Hmm. Bit of a graphics glitch. Don't mind. That's it. That's it in place. We can start capturing thralls and dragging them up to there. So, what we've got to do today is we've got to get the rest of the um, crenellated battlements on, which are the bits that we've got round the walls at this end. Um, and then we've got to think about the roof over this central area, which will give me another elevation for shooting out onto the plains when the purge comes. Right. Um, big question is, what are we going to do first? Are we going to do that roof or are we going to do the crenellations? Well, the wall up here is quite low. We definitely need the crenellations at this end. So let's just check materials to make them. Where have they gone? They've disappeared. My 
maybe I've got too many DLC pieces in here. I've had this issue before where once you get all your DLC sets into your um, make by hand, you start losing some of your research stuff. I might have to restart the game to kick it in. Um, okay. Let me just pause the video there. We'll come back to that in a second. I'll uh, restart the game and make sure that we've got that back in the um, crafting list. So, bear with me a second. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm back. And a few game restarts later, we finally got all the bits and pieces showing up in the inventory. Um... The piece that we're looking for is there. Right. Fifteen brick fifteen hardened bricks, sorry. Four shaped wood and three steel reinforcements each. So let's um if we take a hundred shaped wood, that'll let us make twenty five of them. Um, to make 25, we need 75 steel reinforcements. We have got that, so... Take those. And then reinforced bricks. Uh, 25 times 15 is... 250, 325. So, one, two, three, 325. There we go. Right, so, let's get them made. Let's get them out on the wall. Oh, it says we can only make 21. Have I miscalculated somewhere? 15 times 25. That's 250 and 125. It's 375. Okay, no problem. Let's just go quickly fix that. 375, not 325. So if we split that, that's 375. My mental maths are not so great today for some reason. Right, let's have that done. There we are. Now we can craft 25. So while, while they're busy crafting, let's decide which wall we're going to do, whether it's going to be this outer wall, which has got to have its little barbette things put onto it, and may in fact get another layer here going up. Um, I guess we should really start around on this end, get this corner finished. Yeah. Let's get this corner f here finished. If I just stop there on this corner... And here we go with the silly nonsense that when you want to cancel a build and you have to right click, he starts swinging punches. Right, so that's that corner done. There's nothing to do down on that layer. It's all done. So let's go around and start working around the outside over there. We want some barbettes in here as well, so 
we're going to need to make some of those ceiling wedges do it. Now, how many barbettes are we going to want to do? Um, I think we're going to want to do two on this lower height section and then decide if we're going to raise that section. So, to make the, the ceiling wedges in the reinforced stone that's black ice reinforced that's frontier where are we? that's Kitan reinforced stone wedge, there we go 2, 2 and 8 so we need 6 of them so that's going to be 12, 12 and 48 You can see now why the production line is necessary. Okay. Uh, there's 12. Oh, that's a, a pain. Never mind. Split that. We'll put the other two back afterwards. Right, so... Make those corner wedges. That them. That's them. Make six of those. got to decide exactly where we're going to put them now what I'm thinking is this little area here with the bits and pieces here are going to be like a second gate room we've got one gate room down there got a second gate room up here or maybe just do a tower like we did at the first base put an archer on the roof and put the reinforced gates on each of the entrances but if we're going to have a raised section along there then this triangle would be the last one that is raised so we will want to start our crenellations here um, I think yeah, maybe, maybe this section here for the first barbette. Oh, got, got that the wrong way around, never mind. So put the first one there, and then we can have a a second one down here somewhere I've already got one sticking out there so I think maybe here that should do it because from up here you can shoot down underneath that one you shoot underneath that one from here and so on along the line right let's get those crenellations into place want to go there
All right, so now what we want is we want to get the triangle pieces to raise this section of wall. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen of them. So we're going to need 17 of them and all of the um, fence foundations to go between them. Now this crisscross or zigzag fence foundation means let's say they attack the, attack the outside of this wedge here. And they take off the face and then they take off the wedge. They've then got these fence foundations to destroy before they can get at this wedge and this wedge and they have to take those two wedges out to get at these fence foundations before they can start attacking this foundation stone that I'm standing on so they've got quite a lot of work to get through there and these are tier 3 building pieces so they've got a lot of hit points it really slows them down and that's where our archers can really go to work now before we do anything else here we need to get the six underlying pieces there so let's just have a look that's the inverted reinforced roof is it uh that's that's the black ice one that's the insulated wooden one inverted tile wedge that's the one two two and eight again so that's going to be 12 12 and 48 once more we'll get them there's 12 of those have to go get some more wood and get more of these made of the reinforced bricks uh, split that that gives me the 48 put those two back in there that's it so once again start making them before we go out make six of those For the moment, I can do this to get out. Can't do that to get back in, though. Right, Verse six. This is more for aesthetic than anything else, but I like it. the biz, doesn't it? And the thing is, if they destroy those um, lower wedges that visually support the platform, it's not going to do anything to the platform because they're separate pieces. And, yeah, they get the pleasure of destroying those um, underpinning wedges. But it doesn't reduce the strength, or barely reduces the strength of the platform above. And now that we've put those um, crenellations round, I can't climb up without taking damage. So I've got to go round through the gate, which is not a problem. Let's just see how this looks over here, now that we've got the crenellations in place. All look, starting to look rather impressive. 
certainly looks a little on the formidable side, doesn't it? Now, what I do need to do is I need to do something about this area here to create more of a funnel and also to slow them down a little bit to give the archers on the walls a chance to get at them before they come into the death trap. And then the archers up there can get them. While they're busy pounding on here, one of the things that we're going to be having above is a cauldron. And just need to check what we need to make the cauldron. If I can find it. I can't see it on there. I know it is unlocked. Where's it gone? At least I believe it's unlocked. Hold on a second. Yeah, it is. Siege Cauldron. It was unlocked with the crenellations. Alright. Let's try that again. Unless we've got to make that at one of the um, workbenches. It's definitely not in there, is it? Okay. Let's go check on the workbenches. I would guess it's probably... Well, it might be the blacksmiths. It is. 15 steel bar and 4 shaped wood. Well, 4 shaped wood is not an issue. Uh, Crafted, get that put into place and then I can work on finishing that raised wall beside the wheel of pain um, ready in time for the next video this is going to take a few minutes to come through isn't it so while it's doing that let me just organize my bar Come on, hurry it up. What I'll be doing in the next episode is I'll be looking at finishing off the perimeter defences and then starting to work on that central section with a an elevated arched roof above the um the fighting gangway right so the the doorway is down there so we want the cauldron here like that there we go. Siege cauldron. Can we operate it? Hold E for more options. Interact. How do we interact with it? What happens? No. Not sure how we... Huh. Have we got to put something in it? Ah, we do. Now, what are we going to put in it? Oil, water, whatever. Right, so. We need to put stuff in it. And if you look at the bottom of the screen here, it's kind of indicating there's a fire heating it up. So we have to decide what we're going to put in it. We'll need to have a look at what liquids are available to us. And then... 
load it up. Meanwhile, I guess an archer could fire down through there. Maybe. Um, I think this is the position the archers will be shooting down to there from at the gate. Right. So, there we are. That's a little bit of progress on here. We've got a sandstorm coming in, so I'm going to duck back indoors. And you can see I've got the... Uh, I'm starting to fill up the thrall pot, ready for getting thralls. Uh, it's just duck back into here. This is the most sheltered spot in the workshop. Have something to munch. Have a drink. And there we are. We're ready for the next episode. And we really do need to think about doing the upper layer in here as well. Um, okay, well, while this sandstorm abates, I'm going to end the video there. Thank you for watching. And sorry about the confusion in the first part of it with um, problems finding the bits to manufacture on the uh, inventory, handmade inventory. We've got it sorted out in the end. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you've enjoyed this, please give it a, a like, subscribe to the channel, help me to grow the channel. Um, I would like to try and reach at least 500 subscribers by the end of this year, um, if not more. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. As I said, I'm the Gazbeard. This is Conan Exiles. We're building a base to farm Sepamaru for goodies and NPCs. And to give us a base for exploring the surrounding area. As always from me, it's not goodbye. It's just bye for now. And have a great week until the next one.